continue with the AQL tutorial, let's do a quick one on using nested if then clauses in the AQL searches as well as the case statement. So let's say that we want to look at all the HTTP requests that we have had and uh, that we do it by looking at this particular QID in the last two hours and we want to, you know, look at that QID and show source IP, destination IP and this field called SC status, which is actually the, the HTTP request. So when we launch that, what we get is all these, you know, HTTP uh, request 200 is okay, you know, uh, 403 is denied, or, you know, let's say that you're not familiar with that and, and you would rather have, instead of those uh, numbers, you want to have a description of it. For that, we can just create a nested if then uh, AQL query that will give us that conversion. And as you see here, we're going to be doing that query, but now we are asking if S is status equal to 100, then that's okay. And then we, as you can read in, in the code, we have nested if, uh, uh, if then else uh, conditions that will format that. So let's try that query out. And actually, let me change this in the last two hours. Let's run that search. And as we see, instead of getting those numbers that may not need, may not mean uh, much to many, we have the actual translation on it. Not bad, but we can do better. Just to show that we can call functions within the if then else, we are actually modifying the previous query for now showing the both the actual, uh, you know, the uh, status with the actual world batch request and authorized for this and etc. as before. So let's actually run that query and see what we get. So we see that we get now the both the actual code as well as the text that explain what that is. And just to sum this up, obviously, if you have done a bunch of if then else, you know that a case statement is actually a more much cleaner way of writing that type of code. So here is the similar thing, but now uh, done with the case statement, which is much cleaner, case and when, and then the condition instead of all those else, if then else, and then at the end is the default uh, condition. So, so we see exactly see what we get out of that uh, query. And as we see, we get the, the result before in a much cleaner way. Almost finished the video by, uh, without thanking our friend Mutas, who has been uh, producing all these use cases. And I just want to mention, this is a new, uh, a, a new employee, a new guy coming from, from, the, from school, and he was you know, a month ago, he knew nothing about AQL and he's been not only picking up on AQL very quickly, but also producing all those use cases. So once again, thanks Mutas for all that.